It's another game of Conservation Games. It's number 22 in the series, and we have two larger-than-life characters with us this evening. In London at the moment, Miles McLennigan, uh, Zambian-born, Zimbabwean-bred, and then uh, obviously went overseas and represented Great Britain in tennis. Miles, it looks like you're ready to cook a meal for us, buddy. In the kitchen, yeah. Things are going to get pretty hot for Dougie, I can tell you that. Nice of you to join us, Miles. And then, of course, the other one, a very familiar face to Zimbabwean cricketing fans. It's Douglas Hondo, former Zimbabwean test cricketer and uh, spent many a year playing club cricket in the UK as well. And now the national team bowling coach. Dougie, good to see you, mate. Yeah, good to see you, Tino. Uh, it's fantastic to be in this situation. And Miles, I got the drinks after I <laughs> kick you, right? <laughs> Thanks, man. I'm sure you would have some drinks there, Dougie. Thanks a lot, guys, for taking up uh, some of your time to be part of the Conservation Games, raising awareness on conservation and funding in the Zambezia region. Right, guys, we're going to move right along with the coin toss. Miles, I'm going to be kind and give it to you, seeing that you're so far away from home. I've got a bead in either of my hands. Which one is it? Uh, your right hand. My right hand? No, it's not. It's in my left. Dougie, you get the toss. What are you going to do? I'm going to bowl first. You're going to bowl first? I'm assuming that's <laughs> asking the questions first, is it? Yeah. All right, let's go. You got the two questions ready? Yeah, yeah, got them. OK. All right, Miles, uh, what is my middle name? Ooh. Is it Douglas? <laughs> you got a quick mind, Miles. It's not Douglas. <laughs> you can have another go. I'll give you. I'll give you a clue. Starts with a T. Um, is it Tafazo? It yeah. is Tafazo. Look, well done. <laughs> Two points. Was that a guess, or were you just stringing us along there, Miles? That's, uh, it's, it was, it was, I mean, there's only two options, really, aren't there? It's either going to be... Oh, yeah. uh, right. Okay. <laughs> oh, actually a lot more. I've been, doing, I've been doing my homework for a week or so. Eh? I thought you were going to say Tino. <laughs> Let's move on. Second question, Doug. I made my test debut in 2001 against who? Uh, I think I'm pretty confident here. Yeah. It, uh, it was against South Africa, right? Absolutely. Well done. So that's uh, maximum points collected from your first two questions. Four of took them. A good, took a good wicket too, right? <laughs> yeah. Kirsten on 220. <laughs> good behind. Just give us some background on, on that debut, Dougie. You were part of the squad, but you weren't expecting to play, were you? I was actually a net bowler. Um, and there was, an, there was a few injuries in the, in the squad. And I just got a call. Uh, bring your stuff to the hotel, you in the squad. I'm like, okay. And then, uh, How one, two, the game I'm playing. The Sorry? How soon before the game did you get the call to the hotel? Uh, a couple of days. And did you know uh, you would be in the starting 11? No, until just until the day before. I was told, hey, listen, you're playing, you're making your debut. And I, I, hadn't, I hadn't played international cricket before, so... And it was a big. test match. And it was a test match instead of a one-day game. So within three days, you rose through the ranks of a net bowler to a test match bowler against South Africa. Yes, and everything else is history. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's move on then. Uh, Miles, you've got a couple of questions ready for Doug. I do. Um, so I started coaching uh, early 2000s. Who were, who were the first two players? that I coached, first two pro players? Oh, 2000s, 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 uh, 2005. Uh, Wayne Black and Kevin Elliott. That is correct. Absolutely, well done. Two points. Well, back home, wouldn't forgive you for not knowing those two. <laughs> Ab right? Absolutely. Yeah. Now, thanks, thanks Wayne. Was no. this when they were doubles partners? Um, Miles? Yeah, uh, yeah. well, Wayne was still playing singles at that time, but they were playing together, yeah, and um, yeah, we, we had a good time. We had uh, a, so many good memories. They had some success too. Yeah. Um, 
but yeah, traveling around the world with that. I didn't know Kevin that well at the time and we, we became good mates. Okay, all right. Let's move on to your second question then, please, for that. Uh, so I've also coached, um, I've coached two British number ones. Oh, right. Yes, you have. Can you, can you give me their names, please? Um, Andy Murray. One. Uh, and Laura Robson. Very well done, Douglas. Another <laughs> two points given to you. You guys have been uh, doing your uh, studying. Uh, I see. Uh, <laughs> I like that, Doug. Uh, I can match we'll see if you can actually do, do with those two on the tennis court. Uh, right, that was a really good first right. segment there. We'll move on to the preset conservation questions. So, um, Doug, you yeah. answered first the last time. Is that correct? In this last round? No. You didn't? Okay. I, so, oh, yes. You bowled first. So, you will be batting first this time. Your favorite park is uh, Mana Pools. Why is that? This is not for points, by the way. This is just uh, a little bit of your bio for conservation. Well, I'm a, I'm a city boy. So, I've, I've never, I haven't been in contact with the wild. And last year, a friend of mine, Craig Irvine, uh, took a couple of us to Mana Pools and I just fell in love with it. Um, just the contact with the animals, uh, the closeness with, uh, with the environment, all that stuff. I just fell in love with it. Um, that's the reason. Okay, nice. Right, your favorite animal is the African wild dog. Um, what is another name for this wild dog? Um, so scientific or just uh, just an English name? version? Just an English version, not scientific. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, painted dogs. Painted, painted dogs. Wolves. Absolutely. Another two points for you, Doug. Well done. Um, in this segment, of course, gentlemen. Um, if you get your question wrong, I have the option to. Uh, pass it on to your opponent for a bonus point if they manage to get it right. But so far, so good, Dougie. Uh, your next question, your favorite conservationist is David Attenborough. Oh. Which British TV station did he work for? <laughs> ah, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> is this another couple of points coming your way? Um, yeah, 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 no, I thought you were going to ask me so. Oh, yeah. Uh, BBC. He started BBC. off. He started off in the fifties at BBC. Yeah, absolutely. Well done. So another two points for you. As, didn't he start off as like a cameraman or something? Didn't he? I, and I think editor. Did, I, I think, think when he first started working as actually uh, a conservationist and speaking to people. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well done, Doug. Very mm -hmm. very impressive. You've got maximum points up until the stage eight to four. Uh, backs against the wall here, yeah, coach. You've got to bring right. out uh, keep, all you've got. 30, 15. <laughs> um, Miles, um, Steve Irwin, what can you tell mm. us about him? Well, the crocodile hunter, I mean, geez, all, all those guys are great. It was, geez, it was a shock when, uh, when he was killed. But um, I think, he, you know, the, his style of, um, he probably wasn't to everybody's taste because he got right in there with the animals and he picked the snake stuff. But, you know, I think he, his style really in, you know, in, in wildlife and, and nature. And um, what, a, you know, he bought vast tracts of land. I think, um, Definitely in Australia, but in different parts of the world as well, just to preserve them. So, you know, he did, he did a lot. Yeah. And I, I think rather unfortunate for him to die doing, you know, what he loved to do all of his life. Um, last question. You love the lower Zambezi. Name four different types of fish that can be caught there. Uh, tigerfish. Tigerfish is one. Bream. You now have one mark in your response. Um, do I get penalized if I get it wrong? What can no, I do? you don't. Okay, Cornish Jack? Uh, you probably can. I don't have it on here, so keep going. Uh, barbel? Yes, if you get one more, you've got full marks for this. 
catfish, or is that the same? Yes, catfish. Well done. Two points for you. So uh, it's been a very competitive first couple of rounds here, gentlemen. Douglas Hondo representing the lions, the elephants being represented by Miles. And uh, as we go into our halftime break, Dougie Hondo slightly in the lead, eight points to six. It's been really competitive so far, guys. Viewers, stay with us. We're going to have a quick commercial break and we'll be back with you in just a moment. Our wildlife needs help. Tourism to Africa is at an all-time low. You can assist by liking and sharing the conservation games. You can contribute financially by hitting the donate button on the Zambezia.com website. Let's get together and back up the Frontline Conservation Team. It's game 22. We are at the halfway stage. We've got two wonderful guests, Douglas Hondo representing the Lions. We've got the elephants, of course, with Miles McLaggen in London. I'm not sure you've seen very many of those there, but I can tell you what, the contest this evening <laughs> has been really, really good, ladies and gentlemen. Just the one question wrong, Dougie Hondo in the lead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, can we save some for the end, please? <laughs> Eight points to six. And uh, we're going to move on to section three now. You'll be quizzing your partner um, on their international career in sport. And I think it is miles to serve. Okay. All right, I've got to step it up here. Dougie, your uh, ODI debut in Bulawayo, Zimbabwe, they lost to England. Who top scored for England? <laughs> wow. Well, it was actually in Harare. Um, so we'll blame that on Tina then. <laughs> oh, wow. Who top scored? For England. For England. For England. I'm going to step in the dark and say NASA. NASA Hussein. Can't give that to you, Dougie. Um, I heard the N coming out and I thought you were going to get it right. It was actually Nick Knight and he got 80 not out. Okay. So, no points there for you, Doug. He, Eight, you know what? He got dropped off my bowling twice. Oh, did he? <laughs> so if it wasn't him, it might have been NASA then. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right, Mark. Like just before the break, I saw you threw that tennis ball up. Did you, did you catch it or not? <laughs> <laughs> Last question, uh, for Doug, please, Miles. Actually, just before we move on, quick question for you, Doug. How long after your test debut was the one-day debut? It was the next series. So my, my test debut was in September. Uh, one day debut was in October. And so, the feelings and the nerves before the test match as opposed to the one day game, had you managed to handle that yet or you still had a bit of butterfly oh, no. in the stomach? In the test, I was all right. In the one day, as, um, on my debut, I went deaf for a brief moment, walking into bed. <laughs> <laughs> Everything went silent. So. <laughs> yeah, I know. Not ideal. Yeah, okay. I got out of it. Okay. Yeah. Next question, please, for us, Miles. Yeah, I got to ask this one because this was, I had a look, and this is impressive. Nice scalps to, to have. Your, your best ODI bowling figures Ooh. against India. This is not part of it, but do you know what they are? Um, what? The, the bowling the figures? figures were, yeah, this is, this is me just asking. Four for 37. Uh, if he knows that, he knows the answer, doesn't he? <laughs> huh? so who are your victims? Uh, victims? Oh, uh, uh, well, Ganguly, uh, Laxman, Dravid, and Zahir Khan. I cannot give you full marks for that. Dinesh Mongia. I can give you full marks for that. Okay. Um, well done, Doug. Another two points for you. Takes you to 10. Um, out of those, Dougie, 
Who was yeah. the most prized wicket for you then? Uh, Ganguly, because he was coming after me. Like, and he kept on coming after me the whole series. Yeah. And I think I, I, think I got him out two or three times out of four. So it, that, was a, that was a battle. Very satisfying. But they, yeah, uh, sorry, I, I got because I was looking at it. Obviously, there's maybe I'm confused, or I thought there was a you got Tendulkar out in the one day, right? Was that another match? I think Tendulkar was, was Champions Trophy. That was Champions Trophy. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. And, and that was with Dravid, I think. Yeah. Uh, All right. Oh, nice. Last couple of questions, Miles. If you get both of these right, we move on to the wild and wackies, and you're both on the same amount of points. So. Uh, Let's go, Doug. A couple of questions for uh, Miles. All right. In 93, at the age of 19, you knocked out, you were knocked out of Wimbledon in the second round by who? And what was the set score? Oh, no, what was the first set score? Well, I lost to Kevin Curran, who was South African. Um, I think. And she's the first set score. Was it seven six? So you didn't get oh. either of those right. I'll give you another go. Ninety three, in the second round. In nineteen ninety three, at the age of nineteen, you were knocked out yeah. of Wimbledon in the second round by who? What was the first set score? Uh, geez, I thought. I think I'd, no, there's not many highlights. You'd think I'd remember some stuff. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, if it wasn't Kevin Curran, then it was um, 23. Chris Wilkinson. No. If you get the set score right, I will give you a mark. Well, I don't, I don't even know who I lost to, so this trying to get the score right, slim. Right. Six, uh, seven, five, then. I, no, seven, three. And it's C. van Rensburg. Oh, Jesus. I'm getting my, I'm getting my South Africans. They're all the same to me. Eh? <laughs> I heard you go, Chris. I don't have Chris. I saw the C, and I thought maybe oh, you Jesus, were. That's a, that's a big I thought, uh, Hey, Tino, I thought you were going to offer it up to me. Yeah, no, that's only for the conservations, eh? Seeing that uh, we're not in the conservation section, I can't be offering those to you. Right, last question for you, Miles. You were part of a famous Davis Cup victory, Britain over Thailand. As a late entry into the doubles, what was the score in that doubles match? It was... Four sets. Um, the score. Jeez, I couldn't even begin to. Well, I have to get all four sets right. If you give me three, if you give me two, I'll give you a mark. If you give me three, I'll give you full marks. Uh, I think the fourth set was six. What was it? Six, two. Yeah, that's one. Uh, yeah, seven was first at seven six maybe. Two. Give me one more and you'll get full marks. Six, uh, six three. One more chance. Seven five. Absolutely three. I'll give you two marks for that because uh, <laughs> that's a fair bit to remember. So eight points then for you at the end of section three miles. Uh, Dougie, ten points for you. But you were with Tim Henman then, and being a late entry. Must have been quite a bit of pressure on you. Yeah, actually, it's funny, a little parallel with, with Dougie there, because I went up, um, I was expecting to go up as a, just a hitting partner, and uh, Rosetsky and Henman were the main guys in the team, and he was injured, and I only got in like, actually, I actually, I didn't take my blazer, I was in Birmingham, because I thought if I didn't take my blazer, I could maybe get out of the official dinner. <laughs> um, you know, they're a little slow. Yeah. And I got up there and said, where's Greg? He's like, what do you mean, where's Greg? He's not coming. That's why you're here. So, yeah, it was a, a fortunate turnaround. So, okay. it was one of, you know, one of my, uh, my, my favorite moments. Right, guys, we've come to that most exciting period of the game. 
It's just a couple of points in it, so uh, I'm looking forward to some really exciting wild and wackies. Oh, getting ready with the water there, are we, gentlemen? Wetting the whistle, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Miles, I'll give you first go. I've got five cards. One, two, three, four, and five. Pick one. I'll take the one right in the middle, please. Right <sighs> in the middle. If you don't get full marks for this, I think your team's going to crucify you. Uh, <laughs> been practicing this one. Oh, have you? <laughs> Not really. Get <laughs> back and charge. Okay. I saved, I saved these from my little girl's party the other day. Little, that's my sort of trunk going out. Ah, right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Elephant ear flap and charge. Okay. We'll make a bit of space here. Mm -hmm. You can still hear me. Can you still hear me here? I can hear you. can see you. Okay. A little bit of a... <laughs> Tell me that didn't scare you off. That's a, that's, a, that's a good effort, Miles. And I, I've, straight away, I'm going to give you four marks for that. Yes, I'll take that. Well done. Very good. Effort. Very good. <laughs> that's the same energy you had on the tennis court. If it had, I'd, geez, I'd be living in a lot bigger flat than this. Maggie, <laughs> four cards remain. Same order. One, two, oh, three, and four. I'll have to go for number three. Card number three. Woo! Ooh. It's the hippo, oh, fawn, and grunt. Well, I need to create some space. No problem. Please bear with me. Checking out what he's got in the bed. Some binoculars there. He's about to go into fire. <laughs> Cricket poster on the wall. He's got the, the black label ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, Dougie, that's the <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Um, that is, that is the first five I'm going to give, Dougie. That's a good effort. That is a very, very good effort. Well done, uh, Dougie. Woo! That takes you to 15 points. Ooh, and a well-deserved victory for the Lions. Miles, very well competed. You ended up on 12 and you tried to bring up the rear right at the end there. But as we always say, guys, it's not about the points. It's not about who wins. It really is about what we are doing for conservation in the Zambezia region. Thank you very much once again. Breaking a sweat there, Doug, <laughs> for taking part, guys. And uh, I know you guys have uh, busy schedules, but thank you very much for no, uh, taking you. part in the conservation thank you, thank games. You, Congratulations you. once more to the Lions, represented by Douglas Hondo. Commiserations to the Elephants, represented by Miles McLagan. And if I can ask both of you very quickly, guys, if you could give us some parting words on conservation. Yeah, geez, uh, thanks, thanks for the effort to everybody here. And you know, it's, it's uh, conservation, our planet, we, we, we need to look after it. And these animals, if they, you know, when they're gone, they're, they're gone. We need to we have a responsibility. We love them, responsibility to let other people enjoy them as well. So thanks for the work. Thanks for support for everybody. You know, um, you could argue I'm biased, but I mean, Zimbabwe is the most beautiful country in the world. I've traveled a lot. It's, there's so much beauty there, and we need to look after it. Thanks a lot, Miles. Uh, Doug? Yeah, uh, thanks a lot. Um, since uh, being introduced to this whole movement, uh, I've just realized it's, it's never too late to start learning. I'm, I'm 40. I've just gotten into it, and, and I'm loving it, and I'm learning every day with the, with the forums that we're, we're on. So this, this whole movement um, is trying to get more people to learn about it. So I'll, I'll get it out into my circles and 
we'll, we'll spread it like that. Right. Thanks a lot, guys. And thanks uh, for being with us. All the best for your teams going forward in the Conservation Games, of course. The viewers, you've been wonderful. Thanks for joining us once again. That was Match 22, and it goes to the Lions over the Elephants. Please, when you do have a spare moment, take time to go to the website. It is www.zambesia.com. Lots of work being done in uh, the Zambesia region and conservation. Go and have a look. And if you so wish, there's uh, several different platforms where you can pledge your support to the movement. So until next time, guys, thank you very much. Thanks for being with us and uh, happy gaming.